So we've gone on quite a bit about the local angle of UDFA tryouts. Again, not undrafted free agents, not uh, UDFAs getting a sizable uh, signing bonus and guaranteed salary. Like we're talking about tryouts. We're talking about tryouts, man, at rookie camp. And notably, CJ Ham from Augustana, Adam Jerome Ezekiel Thielen from Mankato State University Community College. As well as uh, the marvelous Marcus Sherrill's coming in from the Gophers. Again, not UDFAs traditionally or priority. We're talking about UDFA tryouts, guys that have to impress uh, at rookie camp to be added to the 90 man rooster. And we got two more local stories coming in uh, after this weekend's rookie camp. Uh, Vikings announced local products. Uh, the Vikings have signed fullback Zach Ogiel, uh, as well as offensive lineman Sam Schluter. Dutch pronunciation. Ah, it's kind of fun, man. Uh, I, I love it. So, uh, Zach Ogiel. 6'2", 238, the pride of Blaine, Minnesota. A uh, bit of a fullback, H-back, uh, tight end uh, player coming in out of UMD. Uh, last year, uh, he posted 53 yards rushing, three touchdowns on the ground, uh, 25 catches, 289, and five, uh, as well as was a two-year captain for the Bulldogs. And then Sam Schluter uh, is six foot six, 309, offensive tackle coming in from Victoria, Minnesota. Gorgeous over there, that part of the metro. Uh, well, is it technically more than that? Yeah, whatever. Uh, uh, Four-year letter winner for the Gophers, three-year starter at left tackle, 2019 to 2021, a protector of Tanner Morgan, helped pave the way for Mo Ibrahim, etc. Uh, was a UDFA in 2022 uh, with the Niners, uh, also spent some time with the Jets, uh, was a rookie camp invite because usually – it's not just rookies, you know, your draft picks, your UDFAs, uh, a couple of rookie tryouts, but also generally some sort of young players that aren't on a 90-man roster. So uh, this is what makes sense. And now he gets a shot uh, here. And uh, so the Vikings recommitment to the fullback position. They extended CJ Ham. Uh, Zach Ogilvy could come in, be a practice squad guy, maybe rise up eventually. That's the exact same path uh, that CJ Ham took. Uh, and then you have. Uh, because remember, uh, Jerome Felton was the fantastic fullback in front of Adrian Peterson for a number of years. CJ Ham from Augustana uh, made the practice squad, eventually worked his way up. Love to see it, man. And then Sam Schluter gets into the derby in terms of who's going to be uh, you know, backup tackle. Vidarian Lowe, the draft pick out of Illinois last year, uh, probably has that inside track behind uh, Darisaw, O'Neill, Brandel, and Udo. But we'll, we'll see what happens in that regard. But like I said, the it, it seemed... Well, we're not smart enough to do the math on this, but it seems like the hit rate of UDFA tryouts who are then added to the 90 man roster have a higher rate of hitting onto the practice squad. And then eventually possibly the 53 over just regular UDFA. So not priority UDFAs. We're talking about just regular UDFAs uh, because you know, what, uh, what happens is that these UDFA tryouts have gone through one level of scrutiny with the coaches on the field at rookie camp, uh, GM Quasey watching. So uh, that carries some weight where if a guy impresses right away, you could potentially see that carrying over to OTAs and then mini camp and then training camp and preseason, obviously. So uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. Anyways, I, I'm rooting for Ogila uh, for Geely, uh, as well as uh, Schluter. Ah, nailed it. Dutch pronunciation. But your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, Bucking signed two rookie camp trials. Oh, they still have one roster spot open on the 90 because of the Zadari Smith trade. Hmm. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once worth the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.